I'm here at uh, the Gold Coast to see Gatto and I must say I am very impressed. This is an excellent boat, an excellent, excellent catamaran. Sleek, fast, fun. This boat is most excellent quality build. And I'm very impressed with the, the like the build quality of the hull and how well she is maintained. There is like I haven't spotted anything that has rusted for instance. Except for that big bruise anchor over there which which needs to go. But the hull is in excellent condition. All you need to do is give it fresh bottom paint. And it is brilliant. This boat is so much fun. Very beamy. Uh, one dagger board. Yeah, that's the choice of the builder. Um, the guy who sells it, the owner, he is the builder, he's a shipwright. They only put one dagger board in. If you can't live with that idea, you're welcome to put another one in, I guess. This is the, uh, the famous Spronk Ocean Heads, where you can uh, do your business directly overboard. Two bathrooms. This is the master suite, ensuite, and that is the guest one. Uh, nacelles for the outboards. Outboards are in excellent condition. Excellent condition. Look at those things. They're basically new. Um, really, really good. Honda 20s, what's not to like? Really, really good. Um, rudder system is in excellent condition. This is the... Um, the main ground and the sink for the boat, excellent condition, everything is in excellent condition. Just needs a little bit of paint here and there. We'll go up now. This hull is just perfect. There's, If you buy this boat, there's nothing to do about the hull, other than bottom paint. And this open cockpit is just brilliant. I mean, I've had... it's so comfortable. As a result, you get massive open decks. Look at this. The kids are going to love this. All your guests are going to love this. They can sit in the sun, they can sit in the trampolines. Really, really well-built boat. Again, there's nothing to do about the hull. I think that... Um, yeah, as every boat you want to do some updates. I think this boat could really use some updates for the electronics and the plumbing. That's, that's about it. The rigging, well I'm not a rigging expert, but it looks to be overall in good condition. And you probably just maintain that and keep upgrading it as you go. Um, Lumar, nice. Lumar hatches, Lumar portholes, nothing wrong with those. Again, nothing to do about the hull. This T-top is fantastic. Solar panels included, what's not to like? Really cool boom with those integrated uh, lazy jack points. Running rigging here in the back for your enthusiastic sailor. This is a boat for an enthusiastic sailor, there's no doubt about it. I love this cockpit. This is just such good fun. I mean, the cushions aren't here, but this is just lazy. You can sit here. Look at this. This is a chaise long. Look at that. I'm six foot. You can sit here. You can talk to the helms person. Somebody else can sit over there. There's seating for eight, ten people here. Really nice. Behind those portholes is the, the bedrooms. I love this helm position. Really, really cool. Look at this. You stand here, all your winches are to hand, your outboards, there's your wheel. You stand here, look at the view. This is how you want to sail. Wow. The T-top protects the um, companion waist uh, port and starboard, and yeah, it's so well built, just beautiful quality of the of the workmanship. Just look at the quality of this wood that we use. Like there's actually what's that called? Zebra coloring and all that. Really, really nice. 
nav station. Again, the electronics can use an upgrade. That's just the way it is. This boat is uh, 20 years old. But structurally, this boat is solid. Love this um, these cupboards. A lot of storage everywhere. There's your uh, Windex and your uh, dry color. This is the master suite. Um, porthole hatch. I mean, he did a video on it. He can tell you what it all is. I'm just impressed with how nice it all is. It needs um, an update. Now, I'm six foot, and this is my view going into the bathroom. So, yeah, this is not full height until you step down here. And then it's just full height. As a six footer, I fit. There's the sprung head from the top. Yeah, I'll show people what that means. So you have two bolts, so it's properly secured. Obviously you would only use this in suitable weather. And whoa! You jump in here. Yeah, there's a step. You jump in and you do your business. Fantastic. Don't worry, I'll, you know, I'll put them in right now. I don't want to want people to think that I'm a bad guest and I don't close up what I open. See how quick it goes, really. Yeah, cute little bathroom, really. Plenty of space. And then back out into the master bedroom. Lots of storage space. Full queen size bed. I measured up. This is actually a queen size bed. And there's not many boats that have that. This boat has two. I'll show you the other one now. So yeah, going out, there's this beautiful um, companionway. I really like the way he's done that. Round. I love round things on boats. It's always good to have round things. And then this protects it from the weather. Really clever. Helm position. Here's the other one. And then we go down again through the half round companionway <coughs> straight into the galley. So when you're cooking here, here's the stove, hot plates, storage, 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 fridge. This is really clever the way he's done this. Look, there is the helm position. Would you like a cup of tea? Anybody else like a cup of tea? Beer? Yeah, beers. Look, here's the fridge. Boom. You can put like 400 beers in here. Pantry. More storage, more storage. Good books. Really, really good. Look at the beautiful quality of the wood that he's used. Just gorgeous. I mean... Okay. Guest bedroom. Guest bedroom doubles up as a dinette works really well. I sat in there and it's surprisingly comfortable. This one pops up as well. You can easily seat six here. And I mean it's six. And if you put a stool on this end here, you can probably get a seventh person in there as well. So, beautiful art by the way. Um, the guest bathroom. Again, full bathroom, toilet. Personally, I would put a, I mean, this is one of those things, yeah, see, I would update that to have a fixed shower, make a shower head just here, you know, and just have a shower with a tap, not this combined. Here's the other sprung head, more storage, more storage, more storage, really nice sliding door. Okay, there's the other queen. Again, port light, hatch, there's a Durad, lots of storage over there, really nicely done. Yeah, you could buy this boat and you could just put bottom paint on and put her back in the water. And then do up all the bits and pieces that you want to do, slowly but surely. This boat's basically ready to go. And I love this cockpit. Yeah, I put all my stuff here. This 
T-top is so smart. Really clever. All right, let's pop on the deck. Um, it has one of those um, prismatic glass things. Those are expensive, by the way. They're like, oh, 300 US. This is the steering installation. It's cable. Uh, that's the ground, I think. That's the isolator. Really good build quality. Like the hulls and the, the glass work is top notch. All this was done with um, vacuum bagging. Wide open decks because you don't have a saloon. You get a really big cockpit and you get wide open decks in return and you get queen size beds. Which is to me a good trait. Massive trampolines. Absolutely massive. You can park a truck under here. Guest bedroom. And then the workshop. Personally, I would take the bed out of this workshop and um, just keep all the chemicals and you know paints and epoxies in here and forget about sleeping here. Workshop is really cool. Look at this, you can entertain like nobody's business. Oh you could you could have a dozen people on this boat for a day sail or a, or a weekend and uh, bring them back to their uh, resort at the end of the day and they'd have a fantastic time. Radar. Yeah, get them. Very nice.